What's up everyone? This is K Collections. 2019 is almost over. That means we gotta prepare for one of the best, if not the greatest year of FGL cause lots of new amazing servants will be released. That means I'll be giving a quick rundown on all the summoning banners for 2020. So like, I'll be completely honest with you. Just go to the goddamn wiki page, you'll save like 15 minutes of your life. Go watch anime or something instead, but if you want to stay, hey, stick around because I need that ad revenue moolah. Man's gotta eat, you know, or in this case, fund my expensive ass digital waifu collecting hobby. Damn, why did I walk into this damn hell? Most people have normal hobbies. Starting with the new year, we get one of my most wanted, Hokusai, the foreigner class servant that's really going up my waifu tier list. The dates you see are the JP schedule, obviously I don't know the actual NA date or anything, it's not released. It's not like I work for DW either, pretty sure I'd get fired if I did. So if you're not going broke for best goddess, that means you're going broke for the painter who pioneered the hentai industry. I'm just joking, I actually don't know. Could be true, I mean most artists have adult images, but for everyone who's going to get her, screw you! I can't afford her because of a rush! See, like I said, I need that ad revenue. Don't forget about the GSSR, it'll be split into the Knights, Avengers, and Rulers. Second choice is basically everyone else. Not like it freaking matters anyways, I'm gonna get a duplicate. Also, I will be having a St. Quartz giveaway soon, but I hope you get jack shit! Nothing but Mabo Tofus! Or if you're going for the GSSR with the giveaway money, then I hope you get the worst possible 5 star. I forgot to mention, there will be other rate-ups like Shisha, Musashi, maybe Gil, cause he had a rate-up during Thanksgiving. After that, we will get the 7 Fake Heroes rerun, Da Vinci and my evil waifu gets a rate-up. If you want Mama Raiko, Kentoki, or any of the Onis, the Setsubun 100 Story event will occur towards the end of January. Now, I don't think we're gonna get the Fate Extra anime commemoration, since it's been out for a long time, but I don't know. Finally, we get Semiramis during Valentine's. Man, I hope I can get her. If you need a offensive assassin, go for her. She has a 30% NP battery and a AoE NP attack, so great for farming. There's also radars for other female 5 stars as well. You'll also get another shot at Sith Lord Artoria. K and K will finally return after like 2 years or something. The Welfare Shiki is one of the best free servants in the game, so if you missed the event, make sure to get her. There's going to be a Winterfest banner featuring the Pharaohs, but hold on! Less than a week later, there's going to be the Knights of the Round Table banner. So, Pharaohs or Knights, your choice. Choose Knights! The CCC banner servants, with the exception of Melt, will be available as a download achievement campaign. I don't need to worry about this, cause I got them all! Wait a minute, I don't have Passion Lip. SHIT! Gotta have something for all those who love husbandos! Beginning of March, we will get Proto Arthur along with all the other non limbed male servants. We'll probably go full well mode on this banner, cause I really want Arthur. Time for that Star Wars hype again! Bet you all forgot about Saber Lily. For shame! It's okay, I forgot about her too. After Saber Wars, we will get some bait banners in the form of class based summons. But hold on to your Saint Chords, cause the first Lost Belt chapter will be released early April. As tradition, there are two banners, both are equally as great. They will introduce a 3 star Avenger, but I'm more so interested in Anastasia. I don't know, I just really like ice users. Keep in mind, however, FGO's Elsa is not locked, but Ivan is limited, so that may affect your decision. Next, we have the Journey to the West rerun. This is where I will get my Titty Monk waifu. Just watch, but I'm scared I'll end up like this. Anyone still remember the guy? My most anticipated event for 2020 will be released at the end of April, but before that we will have a pre-summoning banner featuring all the servants within Fate Apocrypha. It'll be two banners, the Black Faction and the Red Faction. Go Team Red! April 29th to May 13th, the Apocrypha event will start. Don't forget to burn Sieg, he doesn't deserve Jean d'Arc. I highly recommend you summoning for Achilles. The reason being, Quick Servants will receive a major support. He's great, having a 2 hit invincibility skill, as well as an NP battery and AoE NP attack. Besides, it's Achilles, you gotta reunite him with Hector. HECTOR! Just don't have Amazon as CEO there. 
Sherlock Holmes will make a return during an event which will last throughout May. He avoided me before, but this time I'll get him for sure. Watch me fail again because I said that. Guda Guda 2 will have a rerun, the Shinsugumis are back, as well as the annoying laughing child that can burn things. Summer 1 Banner 1 will be the next download achievement banner. I really want Lancer Kyo, but I'll probably skip it. So like, I don't think we're gonna get this. The game has already been out, but maybe we'll get Charlemagne as an NA exclusive 5 star servant. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. And now, Goody Goody 3 will be out on the 13th of June. Musaki from Kaldea Gurus is probably gonna sell his house for this. You have one of the most badass servants ever. Like, damn, just look at that NP attack. Okita Alter is a must have, and she's actually really good. I'm not just hyping her up for nothing. Grailed her to 100 on JP, baby. I hope I get her for NA. Summer 2 rerun will be released around June. Bad memories, this one, like. Mm, couldn't even get any 4 stars. Lost Belt 2 will be out after the rerun, Napoleon and Sigurd will be out, but I'm looking forward to getting Brynhildr. This will be my third attempt, which uh, I just hope I can get her. She's going to receive her animation update as well during this release, which is great because the old attack was a bit lackluster in my opinion. The third anniversary! This is when DW is going to make BANK! The most anticipated servant of 2020 will be Scotty. I'm sure she needs no introduction, cause she's going to be the reason why your quick servants will become amazing. You have Tamamo for art, Merlin for busters, now to complete the triangle of command card supporters, we have Scotty. Go summon her, don't be a fool. Obviously there will be a GSSR with the 3rd anniversary, this time it's individual class based summoning. Limited servants are included, but I'm still going to get the same servant regardless, so screw this banner. This isn't a banner, but Paul Bunyan will be back as a welfare if you missed the event last time, so don't forget to get one of the most adorable servants ever. So you're telling me, right after Scotty, Summer Freaking 3 will be out afterwards. <sighs> well, time to live on the streets for a month. There will be three banners. One will have Edmund Dantes. You know my story. The guy triggers my FGO trauma. But my most wanted servant of 2020, my number one waifu, Jean Dark in a damn swimsuit. Oh man! I may have to skip Skydy for her, like I skipped Merlin for Musashi. Ah, uh, tough decisions. To add more salts. We're getting Summer BB afterwards, another servant I really want. <sighs> Fuck my life. Well, at least we were going to receive a break with a Da Vinci banner. Unless you want her too, then <laughs> good luck. Summer 1 banner 2 will be another download achievement banner. We're also getting the Fate Zero rerun banner. Like I said, we get a nice break. After that, we get a Raikou Shuten banner. Instead of a narrow fest, Gilgamesh will be hosting the challenge quest for 2020. We get the Battle of New York, where he gets a raid up. Too bad we have to wait another year for his animation update. God, his NP attack looks great. Coming at the final quarter of the year, we get the Halloween rerun. So you can choose the other mecha list that you don't have and use both of them in battle. Add a support and you'll have a Liz army. An interlude summoning banner will be out mid-October. Use this opportunity to summon one of the best servants in the game. Obviously I'm talking about Maeve, cause she's an excellent rider. Oniland will be 2020's Halloween event. We get the Alter Ego servant Sitona, who isn't limited but a story locked one. You have to beat Lost Belt 1 to unlock her, which you should have by then. I don't know why they couldn't just make her a normal servant. Screw you, DW. Yet another download threshold, we get Abby, or basically the Salem servants aside from Sheba. Behold my second chance! Christmas rerun will give us who's going to fail summoning Arash another chance! God, I hope that's not me! Oh gotcha gods, if you can hear me, please let me get her the first time! I can't wait a whole year for her to come back! I swear, this is probably the most stressful month for me. After the rerun, we shall get Lost Belt 3, several new servants, you have the pretty boy Wang, and the freaking horse of Lu Bu, and whatever the hell this thing is, looks like a Dark Souls boss. Christmas 2020 will give us a free Quetzalcoatl, and Bradamante will be the 5 star servant you can summon. Yo, that ass shot, mmm, all the reason you need summoner. 
And we end the year with whatever the hell this is. I'm joking, it's Wonderfest. If you are curious of the 2021's New Year's servants, it's Birdie! So what's the top three banners you're going for? For me, it's Summer 3 Banner 1, Summer 3 Banner 1, and Summer 3 Banner 1. Tough decisions, I swear. But what's yours? A tremendous thanks to all my patrons for supporting me. If you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon or channel membership. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Fates content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server. All links are in the description. Have an awesome day, everyone. Till next time.